Whitehead and the rest of the females must work harder to feed their family. In April, the dry season arrives and slowly transforms Singita. The grazing herds struggle to find any succulent green grass. A change has also taken place in the Megapride. The adult females need support to catch enough food, and the adolescents are now old enough to learn effective hunting techniques. Tawny, Dewclaw, and Whitehead take the juveniles for a lesson. The novices take their cue from Whitehead. Some animals are better left alone. Impala would offer perfect practice. But this herd's seen the youngsters, robbing the lions of the element of surprise. Tawny has her sights set on something larger. A giraffe would make a fine meal. The teenagers position themselves to cut off the giraffe when it bolts. Tawny begins to stalk. Whitehead and Dewclaw stay behind her and reinforce the catchers. Tawny must get the giraffe to change direction for the ambush to work. Wary of the lioness, the giraffe obliges. Inexperienced catchers aren't in position. They didn't anticipate the giraffe's path. The hunt fails. The pride is not working as a cohesive unit. The youngsters need more training. That night, the Mega Pride returns unsuccessful and hungry. A lion can go a week without food, but this is day five, and Whitehead knows they're getting desperate. The Pride doesn't rest. Every lion is alert for prey. Even TB searches tonight.
suddenly, an opportunity. This three tons of meat would leave no one hungry. Whitehead investigates the potential meal with one of the young males. If they're to bring down a hippo, they'll need the entire Megapride. It's a dangerous undertaking. A hippopotamus can pierce straight through a lion. In a clash between size and numbers, both predator and prey consider their options. Whitehead makes her decision. The hippo tries to flee, but Whitehead has the support of the pride. To feed, the lions must knock the hippo off balance and pull it sideways. But the young male doesn't have the strength. Whitehead tries, but the rest of the family hangs back. Desperate, they tear at the hippo's spine and rear. This time, it's a warning. It's safer behind their quarry. Whitehead easily pierces the hippo's six centimeter hide for a quick drink. Without help from a mature male, a bloodletting may be all they'll get. In some areas, lions obtain all their moisture from the blood and body fluids of their prey. But the hippo's not staying around for that. TB grabs her turn, but the rest of the pride is unwilling to keep up the attack. The females press forward, but the adolescents are listless and uncoordinated, unsure what to do next. The hippo takes advantage of the standoff. see it coming. 900 kilograms of pressure clamp down on her skull. With the pride still distracted from the vicious attack, the hippo flees. This time, it heads straight for the water. It's a disaster. The pride will go hungry again. They haven't learned to work together as a single unit. And now Whitehead's lost a valuable hunter. Du 
Claw is badly injured. It's doubtful she'll make it through the night. Oh, my God. 